for you indeed in the bond space jessica Rasset from fig live jessica warm welcome to you we've been uh, on watching brief uh, since we last joined you of course and that all to do with that differential spread between the a dollar and the ust uh, 10 year part of the curve now just uh, have there been any demonstrable movement in the last in the last 48 hours Good afternoon, Carson. Mm, mm. Th that's right. Today we have actually seen that spread tied in a basis point more. Uh, yesterday there was a 16 basis point differential between mm. that US 10-year uh, yield and the Aussie uh, government 10-year yield. And so it's uh, today 15 basis points different. So that's uh, a basis point tighter, as I said. Uh, so it's very um, rare, actually, for the Aussie government 10-year uh, to be under that 10-year US uh, yield but it has actually happened previously early 1970s and early 1980s and it could be something that we might be seeing again soon and the biggest test tonight will be in what form of data or speech yeah, so there is actually a raft of data due out uh, this week. I think the biggest one um, out of the US that we will have our eyes on for uh, bond yields will be that uh, uh, personal consumption um, expenditure. And so this PCP, PCE uh, is the uh, Fed's preferred measure of inflation. And so I think they'll be looking at this to see, um, you know, the next meeting will be June where it's anticipated that the uh, Fed will increase rates. It's about 80 to 90 percent um, mm. priced into the market already. Mm. And so I think that data and also non-farm payrolls due out on Friday will be uh, key in, in making this decision. I think, though, it would have to be uh, catastrophic for them to not go ahead with that, that increase. Jessica, always a pleasure. Thank you so much. We must Thanks. leave it there. Unfortunately, time against us. But Jessica Russell there, live at Fig, taking a